Hi, Stuart here from Laugh Book. Now, we're with Steve today and he's going to be teaching us about puppeteering. So, Steve, right, we're at Colony Wars. Yeah. yeah and one of the things that, y you know, you kind of use to try to drive the plot along uh, is puppeteering. We do indeed, yes. Um, we use two different types of puppeteering. We use like spiders in this event and we've got the face huggers from the Alien franchise. Um, these were both, these were made by Ram, one of the organisers. Uh, he started off with a garden glove and then foam and latex and a nice little bit so they wrap around your arm. And as you can see, you've got great movement on them. And I was actually a player for the first Colony Wars. Okay. Um, and it was quite dark, it was like sort of about nine o'clock and we actually broke into the barn, which was a lab at the time, and about four of these come running out and I generally jumped out of my pants. I was generally scared. <laughs> I, I didn't see the, the puppeteers. All I saw was these face huggers and watching the alien films, I knew exactly what they were going to do. Um, I was loaded with a combat shotgun, fired aimlessly, missing, and just ended up running. Um, so with that event, I ended up meeting my death by a face hugger. So, um, yeah. but it's quite weird speaking from a player and from our crew. Um, the players don't look at the person controlling the puppet. Yeah, that that is one thing I was going to ask. You know, is is it the fact of oh, there's a guy there with a, with a, something on his hand, or is it oh shit, face hugger, and they don't even see the puppeteer? Yeah, they. Um, I can say from a player, I didn't see um, the puppeteer. I just saw that thing crawling along the ground. It was right, actually right here where we actually saw them <laughs> running across. Yeah. So you can imagine an open field like this. Yeah. Um, and then running across uh, this event we're being a lot more sneaky and we're doing it in amongst the trees yeah. so they can hide in on the tree branches on a thick tree um, so we're hoping to I know it's in the light at the moment but I'm sure when it gets darker these, these little bad boys will come out again and they're nasty so uh, and we've got these giant big spiders that we're using as well um, and like sort of a lot of fun to use because they lop say so you can just hide them behind a tree when they get close, just launch them up and just let them, if they've got a sword, bat it out of the air or with, a, with one of the Nerf guns, shooting it down when it's on the floor, make sure, double tap in, I'm sure... You've, you, you've got to get that double tap in, let's be honest. Yeah, I'm sure someone loaded a whole magazine into just one. <laughs> Well, I think we're going to definitely have to have a look at one of these spiders as well for, yeah. for, for people to see the, the reference point because I have seen the spiders. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want one of them in your bathroom. I'm telling you that for, that, that for a fact, yeah. So we'll, we'll definitely take a, a, a look at one of those yep. in, in a moment, yeah? Yeah, so great. Um, one of these is going out soon to harass the camp. Yeah. Very soon. What are you eating dinner? Because nowhere safe in Colony was. <laughs> going to the Din toilet, eating dinner. <laughs> Yeah, din dinner time, nothing, nothing is sacred. It's simple <laughs> as that. So uh, keep tuned for that, and we'll we'll de we'll definitely bring you one of the spiders as well to so look at. 